Hello, this is Jane Goodall. I'm so glad that my latest book, The Book of Hope, can be part of Salon du Livre, Lira la Nature. I'm only sorry I can't be there in person, just in spirit. An awful lot of people have asked me if I really do have hope, considering the major problems we face in the world today. And this book explains why, in spite of climate change, loss of biodiversity, in spite of the pandemic, and in spite of the harmful actions of so many politicians and corporations, I do still have hope. First, let me explain what hope means to me. Imagine a long, dark tunnel, and we are standing together, humanity, at the mouth of that tunnel. At the far end is a small, bright star, hope. Well, it's no good just staying at the mouth of the tunnel and hoping the star will come to us. No, we must square our shoulders, roll up our sleeves and fight to get to the star. We've got to climb over, crawl under, work our way around all the obstacles that lie between us and the star, helping others along as we go until we get there. In other words, hope requires action. And if we don't take action, then if each one of us doesn't work really hard to get through that tunnel, we're doomed. I've got three main reasons for hope. First of all, our young people. Once they understand the problems and empowered uh, to take action, there's no stopping them. They're so full of energy, passion and commitment. The Jane Goodall Institute's movement for young people, Roots and Shoots, began with just 12 high school students in Tanzania, and it's now in more than 65 countries, with members from kindergarten through university, and many who've been through the program are now adults and out in the big wide world. The Jane Goodall Institute France is spreading Roots and Shoots throughout your country. Its main message, every single one of us makes an impact on the planet every single day and we have a choice as to what kind of impact we make. Every group of Roots and Shoots chooses three projects, one to help people, one to help animals, one to help the environment. It began in 1991 and most of the adults have retained the values they acquired as members back then. Most importantly, respect. Respect for animals, respect for nature, respect for each other. My second reason for hope, the human intellect. The main difference between humans and other animals is the explosive development of our intellect. Clearly, we haven't used it wisely. How crazy to think that there can be unlimited economic growth on a planet of finite natural resources and that the annual growth of GDP is more important than saving the environment. But at least now many brilliant minds are working on ways to help the environment, such as clean renewable energy, greening cities, education, and many corporations are changing the way that they do business. More and more people are thinking about their own impact on the environment, listening to their children, telling them what products to buy and not to buy. And this is making a big difference. It's consumer pressure that is causing so many companies to change. And when people refuse to buy products that are not produced ethically, as I say, that makes a difference. It's really important to alleviate poverty so that everybody has the opportunity of making ethical choices in what to buy and not to buy. Because if you're really poor, then you're going to buy the cheapest. You can't afford to do anything else. The third reason for hope is the resilience of nature. And in so many cases, areas that we have absolutely destroyed if we give them time and perhaps some help, nature will reclaim them. Animals on the very brink of extinction can be given another chance. 
And then finally, there's the indomitable human spirit, people who tackle what seems to be impossible and won't give up and finally succeed. People who suffer from crippling physical disabilities and yet they're out there inspiring everybody around them. In the last chapter of the book, I talk about my last great adventure and you'll just have to read the book to find out what that will be. Thank you and enjoy the book fair. Bye now.